Hi everybody, this is Peter from Netgear. Today we're going to demonstrate how to use the playback functionality on the Milestone Arcus app for your ReadyNAS. First, let's log into our ReadyNAS and open the Milestone Arcus app. Once you're logged in, click on the camera you wish to view. What you're seeing here is a live stream of the video coming from our camera. You have buttons to view in full screen, and if your camera supports it, pan, tilt, zoom. To access playback, click on the right arrow at the bottom. This will take you to the playback section of your camera. Keep in mind that while you are in playback mode, you can still view the live video feed at the bottom. You can go back to the live feed by clicking on the left arrow. Now what we have here is our playback control panel. What you're seeing is a video of a motion triggered event. The left and right arrows you see on the video can be used to move to the next or previous frame. At the bottom, the solid left and right arrows are used to play the recorded video feed backwards and forwards respectively. Since we are by default taken to the end of the last video, playing the video forward will result in the message after database end. In this case, let's play the recorded video backwards. To stop, click the pause button. To bring up the timeline panel, click on the clock icon. Here you can quickly find recorded video based on date and time of day. Simply drag the time bars and click on the go to button. A quick way to go to the first recorded clip is to click on this left arrow here and vice versa a quick way to go to the end of the recorded timeline is to click on the right arrow here in this panel the arrows in the middle of the video move the video timeline in one second increments rather than by frame if you wish to return to the live video feed click on the live button. To exit this panel, click on the X. Finally, you can export video clips by clicking on the export icon. Here, you select the beginning frame of your export on the left and the end frame on the right. Once you're approximately where you need to be, you can use the arrows to take you directly to the clip you want. Keep in mind that this will generate a video that is as long as the time frame you've selected. So in our example, it will go from 1027 all the way to 1042, resulting in a 15 minute video. So if you're recording based on motion triggered events, all the time periods within your selected time frame will also be in the exported video file. And since no recording was done during most of this time, a lot of the video will show up as a blank screen for those time periods. Now, to export the video, click on the Create Export button. Once that's completed, click Download and you will be able to save your video file. Hope this has been helpful and thanks for watching.